Okay, so we've already looked in depth at the um, triangles um, project where we can we made a spiral of triangles and we can resize and it does all that stuff. We're going to um, use that understanding and starting with that code and eventually build um, a project that looks like this. Okay, and um, basically it's hard to tell, but uh, if you if you can blow up this video big enough, you can kind of see there are squares. Um, this is kind of like a checkerboard of squares, okay? And within each square, there's a, a spiral of squares. So we'll be using that spiral idea from the triangle, and we'll also be using the checkerboard idea from the uh, from the uh, checker uh, checker code or checkerboard code that that um, is in the book to build this uh, project. So let's take a look at the directions here. Um, so um, basically, yeah, we're going to replace the tri triangles in triangles.java with squares and draw a whole bunch of them arranged on a checkerboard. And they're going in, in you know, different directions so that they make this cool pattern. Um, so we have an, an n by n uh, chessboard, and this specific one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is an eight by eight, like like you'd see in regular chessboard. So yeah, here n equals eight, um, and then each of these um, sixty-four squares consists of k squares of different sizes, with k equal ten. So there are ten spirals within each one of these squares. And then um, remember how we used Q and P before to um, decide you know, how much we we're going to rotate each time, basically, uh, the, the, the squares and how they got smaller. Um, we're going to have uh, our Q being 0.2 and uh, P being 0.8. Uh, what else? So, oh, and your program should accept the values of n, k, and q as arguments so that you can vary those, those values. Um, we're starting with the refactored version of triangles.java um, and uh, cv triangles.java. So you can um, download those if, if you, um, you know, uh, want to start with, you know, already set up uh, the refactored triangle stuff. Um, let's see. So the first part we, we pretty much did, the, the analysis of triangles.java in, in uh, the previous videos. So um, what you should do though is just to make sure, so in this, in this section, so the first step, our first step is going to be just to make one of these squares basically with the k um, squares inside of it. So with the uh, with ten squares inside each other, and then we'll we'll you know as we move on we'll we'll get it into a into the checkerboard pattern and stuff like that. But our goal for for this um, phase for this this part of the project for part one of the project is to uh, get something that looks like this. So, but for the analysis part then for this for this section, you want to just make sure that you're clear on the answers of uh, to all of these questions. So that's the thing I, I'd say. Um, I'm going to close out this video now and give you a chance to look over those questions. Make sure that you're able to answer all of them, that you're really clear on, on, uh, on uh, you know, what the answers to all those are. If you have any questions, then go ahead and email me and um, I'll make sure we're, we're on the same page with those. And then in the, in the next video, we'll start looking at uh, the development process.